guys welcome back to my channel so today i got this mermaid halloween makeup look for you all so let's get started so i've already primed my eyes and i'm just going in with my sleek nautical collection palette and taking that light blue color and i'm just going to be applying that to the inner half of my eyelid So I'm going back in with that same palette and taking that darker blue colour and just putting that on the outer corners of my eyelid and just try and wing it out a bit. So I'm now taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and going in with that purple colour there and just taking it on a little pencil brush and I'm just going to be blending out that colour on the eyelid. So I'm now taking that matte blue shade from the Nautical Collection palette and I'm just going to be applying that into the crease just to blend out the lip colour and that purple colour again. Now I'm just going in with my lid shades again just to redefine the lid and I'm going in with that purple colour and just blending everything out into the crease. I'm also taking that blue colour as well just to go right into the crease just to blend everything together. So I'm now going in with that orange colour from the same palette and just putting that on top of the purple just to blend it out a bit. I felt like I needed some kind of warmth in the eye look so I thought I'd tie it all together. Let's go back to I'm now going in my Bordra Mega Liner and all I'm doing is just creating a wing. I've got a wing liner tutorial on my channel so I can link that one down below. Now moving on to the lower lash line, I'm taking my Barium White Eyeliner and putting that in my waterline. I'm also dragging that underneath my lashes as well. I'm now taking this little Avon Duo and taking that green shade and I'm just running that on top of the white eyeliner under my lashes. I put the white eyeliner there just to make it more vibrant and stand out a bit more. I'm going in with this collection eyeshadow thing, I'm not even sure what it's called, I've had it for so many years and I'm just taking that black eyeshadow and putting that right up against my lashes just to redefine that look and I'm then going in with some eyelashes and mascara so this is my Ardell Wispies and my Falsies Push Up Drama by Maybelline. Now moving on to the face, I'm going in with my Tea Tree Pore Minimizer Primer I'm just putting that in my T-zone and blending it outwards and I'm going in my Fit Me foundation, I think the matte and poreless one in 220. I'm just blending that out with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Lions roaring in the morning sun, searching for a longer day. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. So I'm now going in my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger and my NYX HD Concealer. I'm just going to be highlighting and concealing my face basically under my eyes, my forehead, nose, chin and Cupid's bow. I used the NYX HD Concealer with the NARS just because the next one is way too light and I just feel like you only need a little bit to highlight. I'm just blending that out once again with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and I'm going to be baking underneath my eyes with this powder and then for the rest of my face I'm going in my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 220. 
So it's now time for the fun part. I'm taking these fish net tights and I think I just cut it and put it over my head and I'm going to be creating my mermaid scales for this. And I'm just taking that purple eyeshadow and going in around my forehead. So this is kind of like, like contouring but with multi colors I guess. And I'm going to be going in with some different blue shades from my nautical collection palette and I'm taking two Rimmel eyeshadows as well just to blend everything together and just give it more of a shiny scaly look like this part is really fun this is the most fun part of the whole tutorial is creating these fishy scales so I just keep going back in with all the colors that you can find I just use the colors that I had going with like yellows and pinks and any kind of color you'd like just to make your scales Now time for the reveal and there you go there is your scales so now I'm just gonna be doing the exact same thing for my cheekbones and basically just like contouring it's just so simple just taking the purple color first then the dark blue color then the light blue color and the other Rimmel shades and just blending it all together just to get the scales I'm also taking some of the colours onto my nose just to make it like a nose contour. Um, I didn't know what to do really so I just put some of the colours onto my nose and it turned out pretty well. You can skip this step if you want but I thought it was pretty cool. Now I'm taking my Milani Big Blush in Coralina and I'm just applying that to the apples on my cheeks. I didn't want something completely blush, I just wanted something little so I thought this would be nice. And now I'm taking my Sleek Solstice palette and taking that purple shade and I'm just highlighting my face. So just my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose and my cupid's bow. So I'm now taking my MAC Ruby Woo lipstick and just applying that to my lips and straight on top of it I'm going to be applying my Bourjois Velvet lipstick. I'm not really too sure what kind of lipstick it is, it's just like a velvety one and it's in the shade Grand Cru. We will always take a step. Now I'm just doing the exact same thing as I did on my face. I'm just going to be using the same colours to make the scales on my chest. It didn't really turn out what I was expecting it to turn out like. and It wasn't as prominent as the ones on my face, but never mind. You live and you learn. So I just did that with the same colours. And I also used that purple highlighter to highlight my chest. So I put it on my shoulders, like on my collarbones, like in between like and then bit of my neck and just put it everywhere just to highlight and make it nice and glowy there you go guys that is the end of the tutorial i really hope you like this mermaid inspired halloween makeup look don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel you can also follow me on all my social media so thanks again for watching i hope to see you again soon bye guys <laughs>